for a side goal goal that he didn't unleash on his opponent. It's just unfortunate that uh, after two rounds of boxing, he was all over. Yeah, this must be his manager. He's excited. He's happy about it. He was the one that uh, was um, all smiles uh, when they fight at uh, the corner of uh, Tajidin through in the towel. Bartholomew Abuchi, the man that comes from Okija in Anambra State, Nigeria. But recently he was residing in India where he started his professional career. He had three fights in India before returning home to Nigeria. Time to bring him into the ring. Let's see what this trilogy will look like. This is the third fight for the two boxers. Let's see how it will go this time. The first two bouts went by split decision draw, split draw for the two boxers. So will there be a winner this time around? Let's go into the ring. And this is his opponent, Samuel. African Mayweather, he calls himself a Debayo. He, he better be living up to that, uh, that, 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 that nickname. Now the last uh, two fights I saw of him, he didn't live up to the, that nickname. But we'll see what he's bringing tonight. Let's go into the ring now for the ring announcer to call out the two boxers. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our second fight for the night is an eight round national light welterweight challenge bout. In the red corner, Bartholomew, a boy, a Bucci. So Bartholomew Abuchi is 30 years of age and his height is 1.74 meters. He uh, has 68 uh, centimeters of reach and he weighs uh, 64 kilograms uh, coming into this fight. And uh, this is surely going to be a war. A war for Abuchi and Adebayo. The third time they are meeting. That's the man. 30 years of age. In the blue corner, Samuel, African Mayweather, Adebayo. And there you have it. 27 years old, 1.74 in height, and uh, 67 centimeters in reach. He weighs in at 65 kg. Samuel, the African Mayweather, Adebayo, he calls himself. Is he as good as Mayweather? I don't think so. But then, of course, can he emulate Mayweather? That's a different ball game. But we'll be waiting to see what SA, he's got it there, and he's a policeman, and, uh, He's from the rich heritage of paramilitary forces who are always involved in combat sports. So the African Mayweather making his way into the ring. Looking very resplendent in his uh, gold attire. Another fighting policeman. Got a lot of fighting policemen in Nigeria, boxing. Uh, Very proud of his heritage. Uh, the proud. biggest of them all, of course, uh, Samuel Okun, Peter, former world heavyweight champion, another fighting policeman. Let's get into the ring for the introductions. In the red corner, weighed in at 64 kilograms. He has had seven fights. 
one one lost four drawn two one by knockout but love you a boy a booty in the blue corner he weighed in at 65 kilograms is that Three fights, one one, drawn two. Samuel, African Mayweather, Adebayo. Our, our judges are Constance Chinagorum, Sheyi George, Shegun Adesoya, and our referee is Tayo. On life, uh. So all is said for My this bout. Uh, the center there for this fight. Biology. I want you guys to keep it clean at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Listen to me at all times, and whatever I say, you must obey. Good luck. Touch gloves. Bada Bada get on the way. So seven fights for Abu Chief. One win, four losses, two draws. Because those two draws are against this man, his opponent, who has three fights, one win, and of course, two draws. This bout gets on the way. The third bout for these two fighters. In terms of body. Wait, the opponent, the man ain't good. He was a slightly bigger than his opponent, Abuchi. But Abuchi looks more serious this time around. Same way he started in the badon. Yeah, it's about the finishing for Abuchi. He starts like a house on fire. But he's not able to maintain the momentum. And uh, it does look like uh, African Mayweather at the bio has really trying to take his time but of course Abuchi aka a boy uh, scoring some very vital points in the early stages of this bout so nice combination but none of them connecting oh Abuchi gets himself caught after that wild swing right there break break guys break box and referee breaks them out Lines them up and uh, first launch is Adebayo. Adebayo picking his jabs gradually, but Abuchi dipping and dinking. Doing a great job to evade great. most of Come the punches on, coming break. from Abuchi. Your head up. Your, hey, hey. I know your head up. I don't want this. Box. Abuchi going for that uh, big right and not succeeding in getting it clean. He goes for the clinch. Very unorthodox uh, method from Abuchi there. I think there's a, lot, a whole lot of too much respect being shown by Adebayo. And if he doesn't take his time, uh, he'll have to, he, he will be encouraging our boy to, to really get into his strikes in this, in this bout. Uh, Adebayo needs to be aggressive. Uh, because Abuchi is taking time. it straight to him okay. in this bout. Abuchi okay. got three straight jabs in Box. that time uh, before the referee called for the break. And of course, I give Baba warnings to the two boxers. Abuchi with another jab in there. He's getting the jabs in. Interestingly, Adebayo has got a better reach, but he's not throwing the punches. He's not throwing the... He even looks more like the better conditioned boxer right here. But Abuchi is the busy one. Look at those combinations once again. Abuchi started his boxing career in 2016 in India, where he was, he was formerly based. And of course, the first round comes to an end. And he had three fights in India uh, before returning to Nigeria. 
where he has had uh, another four fights. This is his eighth bout as a professional boxer uh, with that record. Just uh, one win. That's, of course, Abuchi. And his opponent uh, fighting back, uh, fighting his way out of danger. Some one, two jabs in there uh, before the fight back uh, from Adebayo. Second round. Second round of the scheduled eight rounds. Adebayo this time uh, becoming the busier of the two fighters. Started, oh, that's a big one from Abuchi. Big right hand from Abuchi that and I goes in there trying to fight from the inside. But Adebayo quickly made him to discontinue that. Oh, look at that. Like a snake in the monkey shadow movement from Abuchi. Oh, big left from Abuchi. Adebayo goes to... Went down and up at that time. It wasn't big enough to rock Abuchi. Now he's becoming... Box. The festival of uh, hugging and clinching. Oh, big right up from Abuchi and Adebayo quickly fights out of. Another one. Abuchi goes in there with a flurry. Big right from Abuchi. Uh, but then Adebayo comes in with his own. Another good one from Adebayo that time. Adebayo goes on the inside trying to get that uh, upper court. Good head movement from Abuchi too. This is a war. We expected it. Break, break up. Two boxers. They are not to be separated. They've been like that. <laughs> two fights, two split draws for the two. This is the third for them. Big right from Abuchi again. Abuchi in black and red. Goes downstairs and upstairs. One down, one up. On the inside, I guess. One, two in. And surely if Abuchi continues the way he's going, he's going to get a victory at last. He goes in there, the guard of um, penetrating the guard of Adebayo. This is a slug first, he's becoming so. Abuchi on the rope, goes for the clinch. Box. Oh, that's a big one. Rupert has for a break. Another round. Second round out. Abuchi for me. Got that going all the way. Third round on for the two boxers. Abuchi seems to have uh, taken the two rounds. 
gone by. Uh, that's uh, from our unofficial card. There it goes uh, with that uh, left jab again. Not quite. It goes with the right. Oh, that's a big left uh, from Abuchi again. But Adebayo comes in with his own. Good job from Adebayo. But Abuchi, fantastic head movement for him. Break. Break. Come on, guys. Break. Both boxers are giving the referee very hard time. Another round of talks from the no referee. No after that point. I stop you guys, OK? I'm when sure said, you're no hearing punches. loud and clear the okay. referee can talk with the boxers. Box. Now they are back there on Abuchi evading that punch from Adebayo. African Mayweather not quite living up to uh, the name. The name seems to be too big for him. Abuchi comes a counter punching. Oh, that's a big one from Adebayo. Adebayo going in right now, going one, two, and going with the flurry himself. Well, Abuchi goes for the clinch. Hey, hey. like Let a hold. Go. Let him go. Let him go, the referee says. Stop holding. Stop holding, he says. But a go. Abuchi coming back. Oh, good one, two. Downstairs and upstairs from Adebayo, the African Mayweather. And it is Abuchi that comes with his own, just as African Mayweather was almost switching off. Let him go. Let him go. The referee keeps uh, shouting to the boxers. Break! Break! There's no how to separate these two boxers. Abuchi wants to fight on the inside. Another warning. If you continue that way, I'll deduct a point. The referee wants Abuchi. Can you imagine that? That does a jab in away with his left. Well, he's opening just a watch. And the oh, that uppercut is missing, but then it comes back. Good one from Adebayo. Adebayo pinned to the ropes now, but he pushes his man away. Good one from him. Good tactics. Good job. And left. That was the left hook, by the way from Adebayo. Samuel, the African Mayweather Adebayo. Stop. End of the third round. That's a closer one for me. I'm somehow attempted to give that round to Adebayo. Adebayo showing a lot more purpose in this round, but then Abuchi a very, very rugged and dogged fighter who will always stay in there. Adebayo will have to dish out a lot more to get rid of that man, uh, Bartholomew Abuchi. round underway for the second bout of the night it's the national light welterweight challenge eight rounds of boxing right here on the 26th edition of go tv boxing night reaching you live from the molade of koya thomas hall of Teslim balogo stadium lagos the fans enjoying every single bit of it and abuchi the aggressor in the fourth round right here at the bio, the African Mayweather, trying to pull off what Mayweather does, which is defensive boxing, but we haven't seen so much of that. Both boxers being a bit too cautious about things. The fans want to see explosive boxing, and uh, it just looks like the book, the two boxes right here, I've been too cautious about things. 
another clinch. Abuchi gets a, a good one in from the right hook. And a nice combination again from Abuchi. Oh, brilliant combination coming from Abuchi right here. And uh, the way things are going halfway through the fourth round here, Abuchi taking this round so far. Good job there from Adibayo, catching Abuchi just underneath the jaw. Adibayo trying to use a lot of uh, body punches there, but he's punching and he gets the hook in there. Another jab from the left there. And Abuchi does the right thing at that point. Clinches, tells the referee that I'm not holding on to them. But we all know what that's, what that's all about. And he catches the opening. That should be a bit of a warning. I think Abuchi will be in trouble now because yeah. the referee warned that he's going to deduct a point. If he okay. okay, that's uh, the last warning. Yeah, a real minus a point. He seemed to always look for uh, the good opportunity whenever the referee is trying to break the clinch. And the referee has now given Abuchi uh, the final warning. Good uh, right hook there coming from Adebayo. He uses his uh, right hand to protect his face. But Abuchi would have nothing break. of that. Break. And the referee yeah. calls for a break between Box. the two boxes right there. The the bio, bio. Some good uppercut there. And the bell goes. Good combination from both boxes. Three more rounds to go after this, and uh, will both boxes go the distance? We will. Abuchi stealing some punches away right from the early moments of the fifth round here. This is give and take. Seems uh, one gives the order, the other one uh, receives and then gives it, so the other one receives. That's what they've been doing. This is toe-to-toe -to -toe for the two boxers. What a fight we're having here. This is a war. Absolute war right here. And the, and the fans at the indoor sports hall of the Molade of Koya, Thomas Hall of the Simbalogo Stadium in Surinari, Lagos. Uh, and just enjoying it. Abuchi tries to be a bit more clinical. African Mayweather hasn't displayed a lot of that uh, feature and characteristics there. And uh, Abuchi toss him in the corner, but uh, Mayweather would not ha wouldn't have any of that. Break. Holding on to Break. the end of Abuchi, and the referee breaks it right there. Box. Sam going for the kill there with a right hook, but it doesn't connect. He gets in the jab. He needs to do a lot more. Both boxes need to do a lot more when it comes to jabs. Both Abuchi and uh, Samuel Adebayo. Adebayo tries to connect, but Abuchi also tries to get in on there. Uh, Abuchi needs to protect himself a bit more, and he gets in a good protection there, but Adebayo tries to work on the body. 
which he comes back. Pretty much like Ralph said, it's end to end, toe to toe. Big bunch there coming, big right coming from Adebayo, but he's not following it up. Abuchi comes back with his own as well. But boxes dishing out punishments to one another right here. And the fans are loving this. Break. The faces of the two boxers that tells the story of um, a very interesting fight. This is only the fifth round of scheduled eight. Oh, the uh, Debayo just missing that a big right hand. Oh, that's a one-two coming from Abuchi. And he does know how to deliver those one, to one and twos. And uh, he's getting them right, I must say. He does know how to also penetrate uh, the guard of Adebayo. It does look like this will go all the way. It's an eight round contest right here. Welterweight challenge. All the bars between the two boxers have gone the distance. And that's how we had a two split draws for them. And so uh, this one, it looks like we're going to have a winner this time. Yeah, it does look like finally, even though it might be close, we will have a winner. And that probably does justice to who's the better boxer between these two uh, fighters this night. But I think from what we've seen, I, I think um, Abuchi leads with three to two yeah, uh, rounds uh, on my card. I think I, I think I agree with you on that one. Uh, oh, an interesting thing is that Adebayo seems to be the, the better power puncher, but he's not able to land most of his punches. I think oh, the easier. last one there. He's always looking for the knockout, and he doesn't always work with a boxer like Abuchi. Not at all. He needs to try and great. score the points. Abuchi. And that's what Abuchi is doing right here. Very durable boxer. Free yourself when I said great. Box. The referee, Tayo, having a, or a hectic time there inside our ring. A very busy day, uh, schedule in the office. And Abuchi is really busy. I love the fact that his right jabs are not very, they're not just there. He's always making sure that he's always doing one work or the other. You know, trying to get uh, his opponent very busy and on the counter. I mean, you cannot just be called the African Mayweather for nothing. That's a good left hook uh, from Abuchi. Just wish that these two boxers are younger. Um, uh, they would have uh, really, really done a bit far better or going far. Adebayo needs to unleash. He needs to unload. He's got a lot of power punches in him, but Abuchi is like really keeping him at bay. And he seems to be a bit too con conservative in the fight. He needs to be a bit more aggressive, and that's exactly what Abuchi is doing. And if you are the busier and you're scoring more punches. If it goes the distance, you, you most likely will win the fight. Abuchi lunges there, and I think I almost... He should be punishing him for that. <laughs> that was a very lousy lunging forward by Abuchi. Adebayo goes to... goes downstairs there. But one thing about Adebayo, he switches off. That's the thing. When you think he should mount a lot more pressure... Left hook from Abuchi. The bell 
ends that round for the two boxers uh, who are still going toe to toe at the middle of the ring. But that's how the round comes to an end. We're going to the seventh round soon. This is the penultimate round for this light welterweight national challenge. And it's between none other than a boy, Bartholomew Abuchi, up against the one they call the African Mayweather, who is yet to show the stuff of Mayweather. Talking about Samuel Adebayo. Abuchi once again starting, and Abuchi rocks Adebayo, rocks him again. Abuchi coming in there, can he go for the kill? Adebayo is showing so much uh, stamina right there, but Abuchi landing some very telling punches there. And uh, the, you, the fans got to love this one. Both boxers giving it toe-to-toe, -to -toe, head head-to-head. Oh, another double combination for both boxers there. But Adebayo also switching off again when he needs to actually up the ante. Wow. Abuchi again with another big one. Adebayo responds. See what it means to that man there. What a fight. War we're having here. And the mobile agent Johnson in the sports hall of the Teslim Balogu Stadium in Suleri, Lagos, Nigeria. Go to the boxing night 26th. Upper body movement of Abuchi is absolutely amazing. And that's what has kept him going in this bout. But for that upper body movement, he just got caught again. Uh, but you know what? He's always know he knows how to think in and think out, and uh, that's the, one of the reasons why he's still standing in this fight. These two pugilists that can give and they can take, they can take. Oh, Abuchi comes again with one, two. Another big one from Abuchi. Abuchi going and going. I think we're going to have a decider today, absolutely. And I think Abuchi is edging it right now. Adebayo. He's allowing Abuchi to dictate the pace, and that's where the problem is. What is that? What is that? Debayo's chin made of? I don't know. Ion. He seems to have more of the power punches, but he's not landing them. But Abuchi needs to watch out as well, so that he doesn't get caught with a soccer punch. He is leading. I would advise that he keeps being cautious and just lands the punches right at when. And you can see the uh, corner of uh, Adebayo. The coach is not very happy about the way he's fighting so far. You know, he, he goes uh, with something good and then he lays back, uh, stops and uh, Abuchi comes in. Here he comes, Abuchi. But he clean up punches uh, tonight. He's been landing and landing and landing. But uh, Debayo, um, when he switches off, uh, that is uh, what, what he's on doing in this fight. I mean, you can't, you can't hurt your opponent and you have to switch off on the ropes and then you switch off. You should be following up on that. End of the seventh round, we're going into the last round of this bout. Excitement in the crowd. Really, really, war we're having here. Big one from Adebayo, response from Abuchi. Abuchi jabs away and see, he sets up the big one. Yeah, you see Adebayo comes in with that hook, a right hand hook. Abuchi comes with that jab. Another hook from Adebayo. They are going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Who will ever believe that these two boxers will take such big punches and still stand? Whoa. That's what boxing is all about. You give and take. And uh, the fans love boxers who can actually take and dish out as well. And these two boxers have done just that right here at the Molade Okoya Thomas Hall of the Teslim Balogun Stadium in Lagos. Hope you out there enjoying this bout. This is a war we're having here. Let's 
step back into the ring for the final round of this bout. What a fight was in. Absolutely, absolutely. Abuchi continuing where he stopped in that seventh round. And you know the good thing about what Abuchi does. Abuchi tries to set the tone right from the start of the fight, uh, of the bounce. And uh, when he gets to the latter stages, he fizzles out. But he would have made his impression uh, at the late, at earlier stages. And of course, at that time as well, Adebayo does not really have so much position. Adebayo comes with that jab and left jab from him. Just seems to suspend the right hand so much. Instead of using it, yeah, it's looking yeah. for that killer punch, and you can't win boxing back by holding on to your best. Yeah. Look at that movement uh, from my boy, Abuti. And you can see the fans right here as well, you know, showing that you need to unleash, unleash that. I think, I think Abuti is just be wise to just uh, run around, stay yeah. and move. It is a bit too adventurous and it could get punished for it. I think he's excited by this performance so far. Let him go, let him go. Let him go, the referee tells the two boxers. At the corner of Abuchi, I should have just instructed him. Go in there, you are in the lead. Just the butterfly. Stick and move, stick and move. But, but he's got the stamina, you gotta give it to him. Lovely launch forward again from Abuchi, tries to get it up with it. I love the fact that whenever there's a clinch and there's a break, Abuchi is the first to actually get into action. True. Oh, well, that's a big one. Right there from Abuchi. All uh, right, and left hooks uh, from uh, Adibayo, it was. Oof, these two guys that have got a very strong nice good job. Nice good job coming from Adebayo. Well, let's see whether he's going to follow up with that. Abuji scores another again. Big another right left there. again. Good job from Adebayo. I expect him to stick those jabs in more and more. He's got the better reach. And Abuji once again gets into that zone. Where he keeps thinking from right to left, and that's a problem for that movement. Right 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 yeah. <laughs> but it's working for him, it's definitely working for him. Nice job. In fact, if only Adebayo could stick in those jobs a bit more. And there you have it. And then Adebayo. I think Abuja has done enough to deserve the victory in this one. End of the bout, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight! Absolutely, right here at the indoor sports hall of the Montal and the Empire Thomas Hall of Testing Ballet Stadium. I think somehow Abuji has nicked the Yeah, yeah, he, he's, done, he's done a better job. Let's be honest with ourselves. Uh, every time they, the bell rings, they come back into the ring. He's the one who shows a lot of more purpose. But uh, I think my own, he's nowhere near. I mean, I mean, from my score, you know, our score is uh, five rounds to Abuji and three rounds to. Um, I agree with you on that. I absolutely agree with you. Well, I see. So we might be expecting a unanimous decision this time around. Both fighters have fought twice earlier on in the split draws. This is a third 42 boxers trilogy. Absolutely. And the fans are also tense. We're waiting for the result of this one. It's a bit close, but I think it could go either way. decision from a victory for Abuji will be a big surprise. Not necessarily, it could go to another draw again. Yeah, it's always very close. That's why I say it's going to be a big yeah, surprise. But I think Abuji has to catch this. of this third bout 
for these two boxers. And let's see how it will go this time around. A split draws in their first two fights. This is the third. Who gets it? Into the ring we go. Ladies and gentlemen, George Shagwa this one here, scores it 77 75. George A. George scores it 78 75. George Constance Chinagorum scores it 74 78. Winner by unanimous decision. But love you. Surprises there. Abuchi wins it. IUD. Abuchi takes it and finally achieves a victory over Adebayo. This is the third bout for the two boxers. After double split draws and their first two bouts, the first one was on the 21st of May 2022. Or the second one, the pardon. The first one was on the 19th of December 2021. Uh, split draws uh, for the two bouts. But this time around, it's Abuchi who's done well. No surprises. Big win for him. Abuchi taking the second bout of the evening by unanimous decision. Abuchi is Samuel Adebayo. He saw that coming. He definitely looked like he won. He won at this one. And finally, he's got the victory. And this puts faith to the rivalry between these two guys. Up next is another uh, national uh, eight rounds uh, lightweight challenge.